In this video I'm going to talk about the CSS3 panels. If you want to preview this element, just access sliders and either uh, CSS3 panels or its uh, alternative. I'm going to open them both. And as you can see they are uh, they are different. Uh, they they are actually the same element but with a different uh, a different style and as you can see these elements are resizable they look like a, like an accordion they can support uh, both uh, titles buttons and text so let's uh, let's try uh, editing this uh, page with a page builder so we can jump into uh, the elements uh, options now I'm sorry probably uh, as you can see the when I hover the the element it's a bit laggish and that's also because of the recording uh, uh, or should I say uh, recording application and also from the fact that as you can see I don't know how I managed to uh, consume all my <laughs> laptops uh, uh, memory and uh, I will try to uh, make it a bit faster but for the moment I just wanted to give you a heads up also the fact that there is actually one uh, other reason is that this uh, element uses uh, the um, the the new star on the block uh, the flex block flex box uh, CSS uh, property which is um, actually the future the future I think for uh, CSS and uh, with a few rules, with a few CSS lines, I created this uh, this functionality, which actually uh, would have taken I don't know around 10-15 lines of uh, code. So this is actually great. Uh, this uh, uh, flexbox will keep improving itself. I actually uh, don't want uh, there is actually a fallback for um, the flexbox because uh, older browsers don't uh, support it so no worries about that so let's get back to the uh, CSS panels options now as you can see you can specify the height of the element you can specify the uh, image effect for example if I choose a grayscale let me just close it and as you can see the blur is gone but it's grayscale or you can have them both but the problem of course is the performance which will in my opinion will uh, will affect the the hover uh, hover effect a per performance sorry now you can also specify the panel resize on a hover if you choose no this should actually work better yeah as you can see it's quite fast so this actually is the problematic but like I said it's a bit it's a dilemma here and as I've checked on other websites uh, sorry on other computers it actually went fine so it passed the tests but if you have any problems feel free to to uh, to ask and don't forget that this uh, flexbox uh, feature will uh, improve very very much in the future and will will actually be the future for websites so uh, I will move uh, forward the uh, caption effect as you as you saw when I hover the uh, the panel the text disappears slides to the right 
as you can see I can choose more no effect means nothing changes hidden captions fade in on hover now if I do this the caption will disappear and do they will uh, appear on fade so basically I can also reverse this uh, this uh, uh, effect as you can see now it appears but when I hover they disappear now of course I didn't uh, I didn't uh, made the uh, buttons gone because of course they are uh, they require an action and if you hover there's no point in having buttons if you hover the, the element and they disappear so they should be there and you can also like I said the slide in slide out you can have visible captions like it was selected uh, earlier and on hover they disappear good so now I'm going to edit the panels and you can see I can choose an image the panel title the text size and actually this is the title uh, text size which can be huge for example this is normal and this huge is this one then we have the panel text and the primary and secondary buttons in this example I have edited the, this panel and only the uh, learn more button uh, button appears because this one does not have uh, any any other value now in regards to the style you can um, specify whether the title should have a background behind it not sure if you noticed but this is the white background this does not have any background and of course you can specify a dark one yeah so then uh, we have the uh, text color uh, theme if you have um, now in this example the picture is light enlightened if you have uh, Sorry, not. Uh, I was actually meaning the opposite. If the the image is uh, grayish and uh, white looks good, so if I select dark, the, of course the text will uh, will appear darkened, and that's I don't know. If you have a very very light image, it would really make sense to have a dark text. So then we have the panel content position. You can specify normal or upper. Upper would mean in this position right here. Let me just select it. As you can see, I also had the, the dark uh, uh, option selected, so that's what it's uh, like then after this option we have the slide colored overlay now of course you can uh, have uh, this uh, uh, these images um, uh, colored like this uh, directly from Photoshop but of course you won't have this uh, effect of uh, uh, that uh, disappearing uh, overlay color so just uh, just say yes and the options will appear you can select any color you want and it's opacity 90 is a lot so is 85 but there you go the reddish uh, background 
so this is the the CSS uh, three panels element it's uh, easy it's um, it's nice it looks awesome it's uh, CSS uh, three only uh, I mean many many uh, I don't know uh, many sliders or hero scenes or static contents or whatever this whole side is called they usually uh, they usually usually load the uh, JavaScript and this one is not so uh, this is actually a very interesting uh, element and we're uh, very proud to have it and uh, to use it so if you have uh, questions again feel free to ask us if you have uh, support uh, related uh, questions feel free to subscribe to our support forums maybe just have a search uh, first but of course if you want to start a new thread please do and we'll gladly help so thanks for watching and see you in the next one cheers <music>